I'm Tech Scout Matt Sanderson back once again today to discuss dynamic cloaking. Not just to conceal the warfighter, but also to help hide key assets like aircraft and also ground vehicles. Let's jump straight into it. Effective October 1, the Navy is phasing out its distinctive Blue Bear camouflage uniforms and switching to a more standard and less visible forest green digital camouflage. And that raises a great question. What if it was possible to become almost invisible to the enemy? Well, spoiler alert, it is not possible to become completely transparent or 100% invisible to the human eye. However, it is possible to cloak an object by manipulating the ways in which electromagnetic waves interact with its surface. Doing so makes an object much less visible to certain kinds of electromagnetic wavelengths. The first breakthrough in cloaking technology came back in 2006 when a team of scientists from the US and UK were able to hide a copper cylinder from microwaves behind a cloak made of metamaterials. Engineers point to the use of metamaterials or substances engineered to have novel structural characteristics as key to realizing dynamic cloaking for military uses. Metamaterials can be active or in other words connected to an external power source or metamaterials can be passive. One notable advance in 2015 used passive metamaterials for cloaking combined Teflon and ceramic cylinders to minimize absorption of some electromagnetic wavelengths. However, more recent research published in 2016 has established what scientists are calling the fundamental limits of passive cloaking devices. In short, while it's feasible to use a cloak to perfectly hide an object from sight at a specific wavelength, any illumination that has multiple wavelengths, like direct sunlight for example, makes it increasingly difficult to appear invisible as the size of an object increases. According to an engineer from the University of Texas at Austin, it will not be possible to drastically suppress the light scattering of a tank or an airplane for visible frequencies with passive materials. Even so, other work publicized in 2017 shows great promise for the successful use of cloaking technologies on the macro scale, but specifically in diffusive atmospheres like fog, smoke-laden air, or similar environments lacking exposure to direct light. This material would use a technique known as unimodular transformation structure, which effectively reroutes light around an object, therefore cloaking it. While not suitable in all environments, this passive metamaterial could help the armed forces conceal personnel and equipment in select high value operational environments. For more information and additional tech talks, don't forget to follow us on LinkedIn, Facebook, and also Twitter as well. Have a great day.